bite splint, plain holly type bite splint with no wire, which fits in the palate and catches on the anterior teeth and the jaw comes forward to reposition the jaws and try to set up a new vertical dimension and space between the nose point and the chin to change the vertical dimension. We have discussed the possibility of putting build-ups in, but at this point it is not a viable alternative. So we're going to add a build-up in each of the bicuspid areas on the splint, which has already been reinforced with little metal attachments here, to, and then cut out the palate. So we'll have her biting only on these bicuspid areas because we feel she needs to wear the bite splint all the time and because of the large area in the incline, now open please, in the front it restricts the talking. So at this time we'll rebase the bicuspid areas so that when she closes in she'll close right into that new position and that will be giving her the guidance instead of the anterior ramp. Now we've had added soft acrylic in the two areas bicuspid pads and then we will replace the appliance and have her close into this new position using the ramp as a guidance. Now come forward Cheryl, forward and hold that position to stay right there and we also make sure the midlines are lined up. Slide a little bit to the left, just right there, no, right there. In that way then now these bicuspid inclines that are building in the pads will retain this position when the anterior ramp is removed. Now at this time, after the material is set for about five minutes, we'll have her open. And then take out the appliance and complete the curing either in some warm water or in our hands. We will have her try opening and closing after the material is hard to see if she attains the same position. Now close. You feel it sliding right in there? All right. How does it feel to you? Feels about the same. As what you had before, just with the plain bite splint. I feel. Now close again. Now there's a tendency for the jaw to slide back, but as the, she hits the incline, she'll slide forward. And she had relief of a lot of the symptoms when she was wearing it more, but as she wore it less because of the difficulty in speaking, uh, the symptoms seem to return. So at this point now, we'll cut out the incline. Now just if I open a little wider. Open. We'll cut out the area that you see here behind the incisor teeth so that it will free the tongue space. It will be done where the line has been drawn, just mesial to the cuspids, then going back to the lingual area, coming up across, and then the mesial of the upper left cuspid. Now we have the, the anterior guidance plane separated from the main portion of the appliance. This will free up the tongue, and when we put it in, we'll see a difference in her speech, although I have to take off a little few of the rough edges. Now close again. And we're still giving the same relationship of the bite. Does that feel about the same to you now? Yeah. Up and open and close a few times. And as she does this, she will have to re-establish some proprioceptive activity in the muscles because it's like a new bite. Tap up and down again. The only problem may come at night sometime when the jaw slides open, open real wide, and it may go back and then she may tend to lock up on the back. If that's the case, um, oftentimes we have to replace the incline, but to this point,